Getting GSAP installed in Webflow is now easier than ever. Thanks to Webflow support, GSAP and all of our plugins are now free for everyone, whether you're using Webflow or not. You can also now add GSAP directly in Webflow settings, including the previously paid plugins. So no more struggling to self-host club plugins or faffing about with messy text file hacks. You can even preview your custom code without publishing your site. Let's step through the process together. So we've got a little Webflow demo site here, just with some text and some little shapes. So let's load in GSAP and the split text plugin, and then we'll animate these elements. So first we're gonna to go to the settings panel down here. We'll click GSAP and you'll see we have a little toggle here to switch GSAP on and off. When we switch it to on, Webflow adds the core GSAP library to your site so it's ready to use. This is all you need to make most animations, but if you want extra capabilities like text splitting or scroll animations, you can head down to this section and include the plugins that you need. Make sure that you only include the plugins that you're actually using or you'll be loading all of that extra JavaScript in for no reason and losing out on performance. So we want to animate the text element on our demo site. So we're going to add split text so we can chop up our heading into letters and then animate them in. And that's it. GSAP and split text are loaded in for us. So let's go back to our site and then we'll write some GSAP code. So before we write any JavaScript, I just want to take a look at the markup here. So we've added classes to all of these elements. We've got a class of text on the heading and then spiral and star for the shapes. Some Webflow folks prefer to use IDs or even data attributes for animation so that they can keep the classes purely for styling, which is a nice approach too, but I'm just doing this for simplicity. So let's go to our page settings. We're going to scroll down to the section that says before body. So this is code that's going to be put at the bottom of your web page after all of your content and before the closing body tag. And now we're going to pop some code in here. First, we're going to create a script tag to wrap our code in. And then inside that, we're going to add a DOM content loaded event listener. This is basically just checking that all of our elements are loaded in and ready to be animated before we write any animation code. Inside this event listener, we're going to add a little GSAP tween to spin the star around. No worries if you forget, there's a snippet in the GSAP and Webflow installation guide. I'll put a link below in the YouTube description. Back to our site. Okay, let's take a look and see if we have some animation. We're going to hit this preview button and make sure that we have enable custom code toggled on. And there we go, an animation. Perfect. All right, let's get split text working. So if you go to the GSAP docs and go to whichever plugin you want to use, there are these handy quick start guides at the top um, and they've got a little code snippet to get you going. So the first bit here registers the plugin with GSAP's core. And then this bit below is demonstrating a simple usage of split text. So let's copy both of these and then we'll add them in to our custom code block. So this class right here is already correct. We named our heading element text, but make sure that you target your element by the right class. Let's check out the animation then. So we're gonna do the same again, hit preview, toggle is on, and we have animation, perfect. If you hit any walls with this or you struggle at all, pop over to the GSAP forums and we'll give you a hand. I hope you have fun and I'll see you next time.